हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल सो सो फार इन द फिजिकल लेयर डिस्कशन रिलेटेड टू डेटा कम्युनिकेशन एंड कंप्यूटर नेटवर्किंग वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स रिलेटेड टू सिग्नल्स द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स ऑफ सिग्नल्स एंड द टाइम डोमेन एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ सिग्नल्स बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट so in this video uh, we are going to uh, discuss about uh, another important concept related to signals which we will use in various discussions related to data communications which is the concept of composite signals okay so uh, before discussing composite signals first we have to uh, just have a quick refresh you know at the basic simple signal so essentially a signal is a function uh, which represents any physical parameter or quantity okay it can be a function of uh, uh, many variables or just one variable essentially in uh, the discussions related to electrical electronics and uh, telecommunication we talk mostly about time domain signals function of time it can be of other variables as well and the basic signal characteristics that are used to describe the signal or to understand the features of the signal are amplitude time period frequency phase wavelength we have discussed about this things so this is how let us say we have a simple sinusoidal signal so now most of the signals that we will study we will study it from the point of view of a sinusoidal signal or will or will try to approximate it to a sinusoidal signal okay because it is the simplest of all signals to analyze to study the representation is simple so mostly all the discussions related to signal we will study it from the point of view of sinusoidal signal we will try to compare it with sinusoidal signal to understand its features so this is a simple sinusoidal signal a periodic signal with time period t peak amplitude a frequency will be 1 by t which is f and other things so this is a simple sinusoidal signal now what is a composite signal a composite signal basically is a combination of uh, many simple sinusoidal signals okay it is made of of multiple simple sinusoidal signals so the the different types of sinusoidal signals with different peak values different frequencies different of course the time period will be different and the frequency will be different phase uh, also that can also be different so many of those simple sinusoidal signals with different amplitudes different frequencies combined together they produce a composite signal okay so a composite signal basically looks like this now you can see this composite signal it consists of three different sinusoidal signals okay first the first sinusoidal signal is this okay neglect these uh, peaks these waveforms just focus on this this is one big sinusoidal signal okay this is one first one the big sinusoidal signal with maximum peak amplitude then focus on these two peaks okay these two peaks if we draw a horizontal line here this will be another sinusoidal signal these two peaks at the two sides okay these two peaks these two peaks these are the negative peaks these are the positive peaks okay almost of same amplitude these two not this middle one i'm not talking about this middle one i'm talking about these two peaks at the two sides then the third sinusoidal signal is this this one 
middle one the middle peak which is of the lowest amplitude if we draw a horizontal line here this will be the lowest amplitude sinusoidal signal this middle one this middle peak now this is just a simple composite signal consisting of three different sinusoidal signals there can be multiple of such sinusoidal signal and that will look something like this okay like this now here you can see the peaks are sharp but as like i said we have to compare it with a sinusoidal signal we have to approximate them with a sinusoidal signal so that we can analyze them because the mathematical representation of a sinusoidal signal is possible but these peaks with sharp edges we cannot analyze it so we have to approximate them and convert them to a equivalent sinusoidal representation so this is a, a very uh, complicated composite signal consisting of many signals multiple signals of different frequencies different amplitudes and this is a simple composite signal it is periodic in nature again this is a periodic composite signal this is a non periodic composite signal okay so how to decompose this signal into its individual sinusoidal signal i said na that a composite signal is a combination of multiple sinus simple sinusoidal signals so in order to decompose this signal into the different sinusoidal individual signals like i said the big signal then these two peaks at the two sides then the middle one so it will look something like this see this is the big sinusoidal signal i was talking about this this big one with maximum amplitude the maximum amplitude c then these two sides okay these two sides peaks not the middle one these two sides the this is on the negative side is the positive side they are almost the same value so that is this this signal okay now this big sinusoidal signal let's say it has a frequency of f this big sinusoidal signal with amplitude c let us say assume that it has a frequency f then this simple uh, the second simple sinusoidal signal which corresponds to these two peaks at the two sides this will be like this this is the second sinusoidal signal with amplitude b we are decompo decomposing this signal this has a amplitude b and it has a frequency 3f c in one time period from this to this how many of such complete oscillations are there 1 2 3 so 3f this has a frequency 3f then the middle peak this corresponding to this the simple sinusoidal signal will be this this the minimum amplitude of a this so how many of these complete signals are there in one time period 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it has a frequency 9f okay so here we have decomposed this composite signal into its individual constituent simple sinusoidal signal so it is simple it, it was simple here because it consisted of only three simple sinusoidal signal this big one these uh, another sign the second sinusoidal signal corresponding to these two peaks and the middle peak which was of minimum amplitude but in case of a signal like this it is very difficult it is very difficult because there are many signals which can be approximated the sinusoidal signal which can be approximated corresponding to these frequencies and amplitude there are there are infinite frequencies infinite signals in between this so it is very difficult in case of this now coming to the this is the time domain representation amplitude versus time plot the frequency versus time plot will be at these individual frequencies f 3f na and 9f now we have studied that the frequency domain representation is concerned only with the frequency and the peak values now i would like to suggest you to please watch the previous videos which i have posted related to basic concepts about signals the various representation techniques so that you understand it in a better way so the frequency domain representation 
is concerned only with the peak values and the frequency. So it will look something like this. This will have a value C at F, this C, okay, the maximum amplitude, this is C, okay. Then for 3F it will be B, this 3F it will be B and for this 9F frequency it will have the minimum amplitude, the lowest amplitude which is A, this, this one corresponding to 9. This is A, I have uh, forgotten to write, mention it here, for that I am sorry. This is A here for 9F, this is B for 3F and this is C for F, maximum amplitude, okay. For F it is C, for 3F it is B and for 9F it is A. Okay, this is the frequency domain representation, amplitude versus frequency. Now, for a composite non-periodic signal with multiple amplitudes, peak amplitudes and multiple frequencies, uh, the frequency domain representation will look something like this. As I said, it has infinite number of frequencies. Okay, because there are many of such simple sinusoidal signals that can be approximated here. So, it will look something like this, okay, it's just like a, you know, this a frequency response curve like sort of a thing, okay, and it consists of a lot of frequencies in between, starting from 0 to infinity, okay. So, another important thing that will uh, come into play here is the bandwidth of a composite signal. Now, as a composite signal involves many frequencies, so bandwidth will be, uh, the bandwidth concept will come into play. Now, the bandwidth of uh, a composite signal, it is the difference between the highest frequency component and the lowest frequency component. Okay, the highest frequency sinusoidal signal and the lowest frequency sinusoidal signal. So, the bandwidth is mathematically represented as fh which is the highest frequency component minus fl which is the lowest frequency component. Suppose the composite signal has a maximum frequency let us say of 1000 hertz, 1 kilohertz and a minimum frequency component as 100 hertz. Okay, So, bandwidth will be 1000 minus 100 which is 900. The range of frequencies between the highest and lowest frequency component. Okay. So, this is the uh, bandwidth of a composite signal. So, here we have discussed some of the basic concepts related to composite signals. Now, all of these things, the time domain representation, the frequency domain representation, the composite signal. So, all of these we are discussing it from the point of view of data communication. Only what is necessary for data communication. There are a lot of things related to this okay there are many things that we can discuss here but it will only create confusion so i'm only discussing those things that will be required in the uh, future videos so that we have a reference that uh, you can come back to these videos to understand and watch those videos again so i'm only discussing those things that are required in the future discussions of computer networking and data communication so here we have discussed about composite signals, okay? So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.